Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I am bringing you your inspirational vitamin today, and we are going to continue in John. So I'm actually going backwards a little bit, and we're going to be in John chapter 10, um, just talking about the Good Shepherd. I read this in one of my quiet times the other day, um, and I just had a lot of questions, a lot of thoughts that I that just really like enriched my time with God during that. And so I just wanted to share them with you. Um, now the whole story is like pretty long, so I'm only going to read a part of it, but, um, I'll just start in verse one and read to verse five. It says, truly, I tell you, anyone who doesn't enter the sheep pen by the gate, but climbs in some other way is a thief and a robber. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him and the sheep hear his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought all his own outside, he goes ahead of them. The sheep follow him because they know his voice. They will never follow a stranger. Instead, they will run away from him because they don't know the voice of strangers. And I loved reading this passage because it brought me so much peace and so much comfort. Um, but the, there were two questions that I asked myself. And it was, do I confidently know the sound of the shepherd's voice? And do I confidently not know the sound of the stranger's voice? And obviously in this metaphor that we're talking about, like Jesus is the shepherd and like Satan is the stranger and just sin overall is the stranger. And it's like, I was just asking myself, do I know the sound of God's voice so confidently to follow him wherever he may lead me and on the other side of that do i confidently not know like satan's voice that i just run away from like i can recognize that and be like that's not god i need to get out of here um and my answer to that question was that i don't i often get them confused or i wait too like i don't immediately run away from the stranger and I realized a lot during my quiet time on this is that I needed I needed to be able to distinguish better the sounds of their these two voices so that I could follow confidently God and run away right away, like from sin and from Satan. Um, but I love this so much because at the end too, and I'll read this also, but at the very end of the story in verse 27, it says, My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. And I love how confidently Jesus says that no one will snatch us out of his hand. Um, that no matter how hard it is for me with sin or with Satan, he was still will never snatch me out of Jesus' hand. And I just wanted to give some encouragement to you guys about that today. Thanks.